Hey guys, this is Mick from Motor Ventures and uh, this is just a game review on not a game review actually this is actually a troubleshoot uh, because people they cannot play Call of Dragons on blue stocks it's really hard this one it's really hard to play blue stocks uh, Call of Dragons on blue stocks so I found out a fix how to do it so in order to play this game uh, let me test it so that you can see that it's running yeah firelight games ligu uh ligu is the maker of rise of kingdoms so uh they part ways with rise of kingdoms after the rise of kingdoms became stable and already um gaining favor from the fans and the community it, now they help call of dragons to improve the game so after that maybe they will part ways again with the uh, developer team so it takes a while to load uh, because um the game is still on beta yeah it, it really needs a lot of improvement but in order for you to play it on blue stacks there is a couple of tweaks you need to do in the settings of blue stacks so that you can play it. it takes a while though but it's still playable uh no issue no issues no drops no 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 la uh there's some lags because my uh i ha i'm playing in a ded dedicated uh gp gpu internal gpu integrated sorry so I'm playing on the integrated GPU. I don't have a, my own in GPU installed. So yeah, it takes a while to load, but no issues. You can let, just keep the video and look at the part where I set all the settings. So there is it. Um, yeah, it's laggy. It looks laggy, but eventually when you play the game later on it becomes smooth so or you can just adjust the settings here in um, general this one then maybe up the frame rate Yeah Then let's see if there's a um, improvement that's not, not that lag anymore that's so lag so not like before when I first tested it yeah this yeah that's the lag that I'm talking about but eventually it will like smoothen up later as you go along with the gameplay with the game so yeah, I, 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 I did the mapping also because there's no mapping yet available in blue stacks for this game. So, look, um, zoom in, zoom out. That's what, that's what, that's all you need when you go out in the field. You just need to know the, the zooming in and zooming out of this. You, you can just do it in the mapping, control mapping. So, I copied the controls of Rise of Kingdoms because um, literally the game is like a copycat of Rise of Kingdoms but I feel it's a lot better um, I'm it's 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 a promising game and I know the community will grow on this game and um, I hope the developer will be like um, supportive with the community they will listen to the community and I hope they will not abandon this game because I know this game really has very very big potential and I want to help this game I want to stream live stream on this game I want to like help the community to grow and this is the first video that I make so that everyone can play it on blue stacks so here's the setting that I did click here this one wait let me do it again click the settings then just copy everything I did here four cores 
4 g uh, 4 gigabyte of um, memory allocation then high performance then up the frame rates to 60 uh that it depends on you if you want it on 30 or 60 uh it's fine totally fine then on the display um it's okay if it can if it if you'll go up to like the full screen or you can play it in 4k as long as your system uh your hardware can support it uh then on graphics, you need to put it on compa uh, compatibility. Then graphics render, OpenGL. Then the interface render, it should be in software. Okay, it's auto software, OpenGL. Then you need to put it in software. This one, this is the this is the one that uh, really helped me a lot. The ASTC texture, it's in beta, but uh, uh, when you like do the hardware decoding. Not the software one, hardware decoding. It it eventually let you play the game because I chose a while ago the software decoding. Uh, I wasn't able to play the game. It, it keeps saying that the game is not compatible with the device. So um, if you have a dedicated GPU, uh, untick, yeah, uncheck it like that. Then on the devices, on uh, there, friends, phone here. You, sh you need to choose the highest um, available version of the phone here. Maybe a high end. This one, the high high end Samsung Galaxy S twenty one Ultra. Then um, just this one, just leave it the way it is. And save settings. Um, and performance here. Every time you you um, you cannot go by this um, in the menu here. You're gonna click this because you need to save it every time you you uh, change the settings here so it will make the uh, blue stack restart but it's okay um, then everything is set now um, you can play it without any issues as long as your computer supports it uh, has the uh, hardware to support the game because uh, this game is uh, I think this game is kind of uh, very graphic demanding game and I think uh, it's um, uh, I, th I think I think the graphic is more um, it's it's more advanced and more good than the Rise of Kingdoms graphics because uh, I feel that Rise of Kingdoms graphics is very cartoonish this one not really um, it's uh, uh, for me it's um it uh it's more on um 3d that is why it's more heavier the game is more heavier so uh that's 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 just on me uh <laughs> i'm i'm not here to compare the game but i'm here to like tell you the difference oh what's that oh he left <laughs> so um I hope this uh, I hope this video helped you guys so that you can play it on blue stacks because it's really frustrating if you cannot play it on your PC because um, not all of us have a good phone um, but uh, most of, but most of us have good PCs like even though um, uh, uh, at least you have a 8 gig RAM PC you can already play this game and um, by the way guys I, I have I am an Intel I have an Intel processor it and it has an iGPU so if you have a iGPU it's much better you can save a lot you need to you don't need to use your dedicated GPU so when I uh, but but uh, but if ever you're gonna use your dedicated GPU I think uh, there will be some issues because uh, I already tried it I, I, I have a 710 GT 710 installed in my PC but it I wasn't able to play in the game we get, it's having issues so I unticked it I unticked the this one where's that I unticked this so uh, it made me play the game so the main issue that in this game is the GPU so you need to be like um, <laughs> not really good in um, configurations but you need to like play with your configuration so that you can I'll play the game. So, guys, uh, I hope you uh, this video is helpful, and hope to see you again in my next video of Call of Dragons. 
let's uh, help grow the community and let's see you on the battlefield.